Hey hi everyone how are you all I hope everything is okay this is Nitin Kumar and today we are going to discuss one very special part about circuit analysis and that is the arrangement of cells okay so before we start let me introduce myself my name is Nitin Kumar I am a physics master teacher at Oda along with physics I also teach physical computing you can think of it as robotics electronics programming everything connected together I did my BTech in mechanical engineering from IIT Kharagpur and I have been teaching physics for the last 8 years. In these 8 years many of my students have cleared JE advanced and NEET examination and hence they are in the top IITs, top medical colleges and in top NITs as well through JE mains. Now students in today's class we are going to discuss like I said one specific part of circuits and that is the arrangement of cells. Okay so what is a circuit? A circuit a circuit is a closed continuous path through which electricity can flow i hope you already know this and this circuit can be made by first of all we need a power supplying component it can be a cell it can be a battery we need one load it can be a bulb fan we need wires and a switch is optional switch is used for convenience our convenience so that is what makes a circuit correct now we are going to focus on one part and that is the cell and the arrangement of cells so if you have ever seen a cell you must have seen something like this written on it all right like 1.5 volt <clears throat> yeah so 1.5 volt something like this you must have seen yes this is what we call voltage of that cell it is like the pressure it provides on charges just like pump pushes water in the similar way the cells push charges that is their function never say that cells produce charge they don't produce charge they simply push the charge they apply that force or you can say they provide the energy to the circuit so this cell if connected uh, along with another cell if there are two or more cells we call it a battery all right so <clears throat> yeah so what is a battery two or more cells connected together in the positive negative positive negative manner for example here we have a battery now if you see each cell has 1.5 volt and when i connect positive to negative so here is the positive here is the negative so positive negative positive negative positive negative so when i connect positive to negative positive to negative I can add all the voltages and I get 6 volt which is written here 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 so we are adding the voltages is that clear so students whenever two cells whenever two cells are connected they must be connected in this positive to negative manner they must be connected yeah they must be connected to this through this positive to negative manner when we do that we can add the voltages okay so let me show you yeah so if we have if we have to connect two cells together we have to connect positive to negative all right so i have one cell here 1.5 volt i have another cell 1.5 volt connected positive to negative if that is done then we can add the voltages we get 3 volt but when connected in the positive to positive manner okay when connected in positive to positive manner like this or positive to neg uh, negative to negative manner like this then we subtract the voltages so the reason why the cell is not going to work when you connect positive to positive or negative to negative is because it will give you zero volt for this case yeah so this is a question for you now I have three cells each has 1.5 volt negative positive negative positive they are connected in the right manner so what do you think the overall voltage would be everyone yes very good it will be 4.5 because I have to add all 1.5 so I get 4.5 volt okay 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 4.5 volt all right now <clears throat> a question for you what is the answer of this question tell me what is the answer of this question I have four cells can you see four cells so here we have positive here we have negative here we have positive negative positive negative positive negative 
so all of them are corrected in the right manner positive to negative positive to negative what do you think the answer is the answer is overall voltage is going to be 6 volt you are going to add 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 okay very simple now what if what if one of the cells is in the opposite orientation for example i have here positive negative positive negative negative positive what do you think is the answer is it 5 volt what do you think is it 5 volt is it 2 volt is it 1 volt or is it 3 volt what do you think is the answer think about it think about it one cell is connected in the incorrect order so you might think ki all right we have negative negative this also negative okay so negative you take this negative you take that negative your answer could have been minus 2 volt but that is not correct so students what is the right way i'll tell you what is the right way the right way is if you take this order as positive so you will take plus 1.5 you'll take plus 1.5 since this cell is in the opposite orientation you'll take minus so basically it will be 1.5 plus 1.5 minus 2 volt and you get 1 that is the answer all right first of all you have to understand this on how to calculate the overall voltage 1.5 plus 1.5 minus 2 volt gives you 1 volt now my next question is imagine if I connect a bulb here imagine if I connect a bulb here will that bulb glow what do you think because students think if one cell is connected in the positive negative uh, sorry negative negative manner positive to positive manner the entire thing will not work okay so they will say Ki, this is not going to work because this is connected in the incorrect way the entire thing is going to be um, it's not going to work and hence the bulb is not going to glow but students that is not the case as long as we have some voltage across this the bulb will glow okay so let's do some questions again i will prove everything i will prove everything with live components okay so the answer is 1.5 plus 1.5 minus 1 volt all right now let's do this question so i have this cell in the right order this cell in the right order this cell in the right order but this one is in the incorrect order this one all right so what is going to be the voltage tell me what do you think Is it 4.5? Wrong. Many students, they do what? Okay, it was 6 volt in the previous case. This cell is in the incorrect way. So just sub subtract uh, sub 1.5 from 6. You get 4.5. No. Incorrect. Let's do it. What is the right way? So I have one cell like this. Another cell, This cell in the incorrect way. Then this and this. Correct? So I will take 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1.5 and plus 1.5 I get 3 volt 3 volt is the answer C ok this is negative rest all are positive so 4.5 minus 1.5 gives you 3 volt ok great now the next question is the next question is what if we connect a bulb what if we connect a bulb here what if we connect a bulb across these two terminals will the bulb glow yes or no the answer is yes because we got 3 volt we got 3 volt okay we got 3 volt across this as long as there is voltage the bulb is going to glow so this is a very very big misconception in students that if in multiple cells if we have even one cell in the incorrect way then entire battery is not going to work that's not the case yes that will be negative voltage but if you have overall non-zero voltage across the terminals it is it is going to uh, make the bulb glow all right so i'll show you this with activity all right but here i have a simulator so using a simulator you can see 
so i have connected this cell positive to negative this negative to positive so only this cell is in the incorrect way but this is correct this is correct this is correct because this is positive negative positive negative and as you can see the bulb glows all right so that does not mean that if we have even one cell in the incorrect way the entire battery will not work that is not the case and now i'll show you live that indeed that is the case all right students so i have here this multimeter basically it can measure voltage current and many other things you will study those things in higher grades so i have these two terminals if i want to calculate the voltage across anything i can do it very easily so i have here four cells and they are in the cell holder all right so let me open one yeah so i hope you know that this part is the positive terminal okay this button side the cap side and the flat side is the negative terminal so <clears throat> i am connecting i am connecting them like this so the red wire indicates the positive black wire indicates the negative all right now i have four such cells i have four such cells and i have one bulb as well i have one bulb now using all of this i'll make you understand everything we have discussed so far first of all let's measure the voltage of this okay so i'll connect these two terminals yeah here i'll connect one here and one here what is the voltage you are seeing okay just a minute yeah what is the voltage can you see 1.5 Yeah, one point five, almost one point five, one point six. Okay, so one point five volt is written, and it is also giving one point five only. So let me take another one. What is the voltage? One point six, correct? One point six. Okay. So each cell is around one point six or one point five volt. Now, how to make a battery? So we learned that if we connect positive to negative, like this, okay. Now, if I if I measure the voltage now across these two terminals, what should I get? I should get more than three, like three point one or something, because we are adding. So let me see. Okay, what you are getting? Yeah, three point one, correct? As ex uh, as we expected. Okay, three point one, three point two, because one point six, one point six. So when we connect them like this, we add the voltages. Now let's connect all of them. Let's connect all of them. all right so as you can see negative positive negative positive negative positive okay now let's measure the voltage what do you think we are going to get each cell is around 1.6 volt so let me connect this yeah what are we getting 6.1 volt make sense if each cell is 1.6 1.5 this is what we expect so around 6 volt consider 1.5 so all of them add all right all of them add now what if i connect this cell in the incorrect way that is the question what if i connect this cell in the incorrect way okay now let me show you positive to positive and negative to negative okay now like i said the misconception is when i make one incorrect connection for one cell the entire thing will not work okay but i told you that is not the case ultimately you have to calculate the voltages so plus 1.5 plus 1.5 minus 1.5 and plus 1.5 you will get around 3 volt let me show you somewhere around 3 3.1 what are we getting 3.4 make sense okay these are slight variations because not everything is perfect these cells change their voltage that's why we need something called voltage regulator in our circuits but you got the point yeah you got the point so we are getting somewhere around 3 volt okay now will the bulb glow if i connect i told you this thing is going to work because the voltage is not zero it is non zero and as long as we have non zero it should work all right the bulb is not going to glow very brightly 
बिकॉज ओनली थ्री वोल्ट इज अवेलेबल दिस बल्ब नीड सिक्स वोल्ट फॉर प्रॉपर ब्राइटनेस और एट सो लेट सी सी इट इज गोइंग और एट एंड द लेवल ऑफ ब्राइटनेस विल बी सेम इफ आई कनेक्ट हेयर एज वेल द रीजन इज दीज टू सेल्स आर गिविंग थ्री वोल्ट एंड दे आर कैंसिलिंग ईच अदर ओके सो वी अल्टीमेटली वी हैव द सेम वोल्टेज सो स्टूडेंट्स दैट इज हाउ यू कनेक्ट द सेल्स लेट मी शो यू वन मोर टाइम वन सेल only 1.5 volt very very low brightness two cell very high brightness i mean comparatively high okay and when i connect these two i get the same voltage because ultimately these two are cancelling minus 1.5 plus 1.5 that is it students so yeah thank you so much